My name is Emily Rose Wenga Wenga. I'm a chairperson of my Agri Processors Women Cooperative from Malawi. Our cooperative started in, 19, in 2019 as a, a neighbors association. Yeah, so we were 20 members. Um, then we started uh, organizing that we need to do something as women so that we shouldn't just stay idle. Yeah, so after we started there is when we heard about Agco, the government company that helps most of the farmers to ease their farming system. Yeah, so when we are in, the, in our cooperative, we start looking for that opportunity so that we can be expanding our farming produce. We farm uh, groundnuts, yeah, uh, sometimes soya and beans. We are specializing on groundnuts. Our market is moving because when we were starting, we didn't have uh, much produce. But after Agcom came in and gave us a tractor, we managed to farm a big farm and find bigger uh, off takers like Mount Meru who bought us about 17,500 metric tons. Yes, and uh, we, we are also increasing in members because we started uh, 20 members. Now we are 90 women, women and girls. In our cooperative, we have all oh, both uh, retired women's work class, housewife, and also those who just come from schools. Yeah, everything is cooperated in that one. Now we manage to uh, to farm about uh, 30 metric tons of nuts. After we uh, we managed to sell our first produce, we bought a farm and also managed to pay 10% uh, of our tractor because Agcom, when they want to buy you farm implements, they ask you to pay 10%. It's just to show that ownership, that you have to take care of that, what they are giving you. Yeah, so they ask us to pay 10%. Then after that 10%, the other amount they give you, 70% they give to you. Because we also hire the tractor to other women, and we manage to make money from the tractor. Like only last year, we managed to make 30 million within three months. Uh, uh, hiring people and another uh, amount, 30 million, we get it from our produce, which we produce it from our farm. Uh, at first, we have 20 hectares, but now we manage to make it 100 hectares. Yes, because each and every year we add the hectare so that we can have more yield. Some we raise, uh, yeah, some we, we buy. Yeah, because it's uh, uh, this time we, our government don't allow people to buy. They just want you to lease. Maybe you can lease for five years or six years or so. Yes. So our future plans, we want to process. If you can manage to have maybe my processing machine, so that we can manage to process our produce and also have a good quality that we can be exporting because that can help our government to have more forex. Yeah, so we are looking for international market, not only a local market. Yes, we, we want our product to be produced, like if we, we take our soya or groundnuts, we can make a porridge, and that porridge we can be exporting, we can make cooking oil, we can also do chicken feed for the red juice that we get from the those what we have been processed. Yeah. We don't encourage our girls just to look for a white collar job, but we also tell them that there's also a lot of money in the farm. So it's not only a white collar that they can give them something to, for their future. We encourage them because most of the times when we are doing our showcasing or what, we also contact them to come and see and to, we tell them how 
the, we managed to get the profit from farming. Yeah, so we have more girls than the, the time we were starting. Yes. I just want to encourage our government to keep on helping we women, uh, especially on finding a good market, also exposing like uh, what they have did. We, we are very thankful because we have now known to some other countries because of their support. So I just want to encourage them that they should continue doing that to our girls, even our country. Yes.